we're going to be bouncing about seven tracks of that onto two tracks of the two inch 16 track tape. Track reduction, baby. In old school, term. old style, old, yes. old world. Nice. Old. So John, do me a favor, next time we record a song where you need 30 seconds of my <laughs> tape, let me know so we can leave 30 seconds. <laughs> that's, all I want. that's all I have to say. So we can avoid things like this, but it's not like the dead in the water, so. Amateur hour up in this place. That's all right. Even better than the last one. So that April, I start collaborating with Joe on the lyrics, trying out melodies, just getting the ball rolling on it. And then... It was devastating to find out, and I had to halt production of the album for four weeks until I was able to speak to John. Uh, much to the man's credit, it was he who finally contacted me about finishing the album. And with his blessing, we arranged to have me finish the album at Sound Over Sound while he recovers. It's one of those conversations I'll never forget. Such a testament to John and, you know, just to the spirit of the album, you know. It re this really is a project uh, with friends, for friends, and when one of us has problems, uh, you know, we, we back each other up. It doesn't even make any sense, and I'm, I'm still, like, you, you hear it's just like, <laughs> yeah. That happened. It was a long struggle even after he gave us the green light to go back in and do things. Anthony and Lisa had already had the twins in April. He was of, gone. Sort of gone at that point, uh, understandably so. John Bross is my one other person that I could rely on for melody ideas. I could have taken your criticisms and suggestions and brought that to him. Now I don't have a co-pilot anymore. Joe and Fernanda got married in May then went to Brazil for their honeymoon and a vacation. So I lost those guys for like the whole summer. This song, as high as we had yet to climb, was getting pushed further and further back, and hence the whole record release was getting pushed further and further back, and I was getting really, really nervous about that. I'm going with Anthony to pick up Joe on... Uh, he said Monday, right? On Monday, so... Uh, I have to go old school John Roccasano, interrupt the happy moment and say, guys, we need to finish this song. <laughs> I gotta do something really dramatic and awesome. I get to have all the fun on this project. One of the things I had said to Max was like, maybe like a Sultans of Swing kind of, of feel, where the guitar isn't taking over, but it's just like a delicious, like, spice in the brew. Down, 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 down. Like, da, 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 sort of said that you'd wanted me to play sort of loop the loops with the Hammond solo. The fun part is that we had to make it sound like he was playing off of me. So I had to play as if I had already played something that he would have played those things off of me to do, which was its own special kind of hell. You're willing to stick with me through it, and yeah. we've done this a million times, or I don't really exactly know what to do, but, I know, but I'll know it when I hear it. What? Oh. So you get like this call and response to thing going on, um, this like interplay back and forth, and I mean that takes a good musician, and he did it.